My house is being treated for termite protection today, but before I show you what's going on over there, I thought we'd just take a look at this house. And this house was completed a few years ago. And when it was completed, no one lived in it. And the owner didn't take any precautions against termites. And termites got in and they ate every single piece of wood in the house. So the upstairs flooring they ate, uh, the wood on the stairs, door frames, and it's being rebuilt now. But before they started doing the rebuild, you can actually look straight into the house because the termites have eaten the front door. What termites feed on is cellulose. So in addition to wood, they'll also eat paper and cardboard and the plasterboard that they make full ceilings from. So all of the full ceilings have gone as well. It's a really big problem in Thailand and other tropical countries. Several houses on my development have had termite problems. I had a really big problem in my house four years ago. It's something you need to be aware of. You need to be very vigilant and to always look out for signs of termites. And every so often you need to get your house treated to protect against termites. Once termites get in, they're very difficult to get rid of. And if they do get in, a brand new house can end up looking just like this. Termites are completely silent and most of the time they remain hidden. And when we found the big problem four years ago, we had no idea there was a termite problem with the house. One day, the cleaning lady was in, she moved this unit and underneath there was just a mass of termites. And the flooring now, it looks like wood, but it's actually tile. We had it all replaced, but previously it was parquet flooring. And what I think happens is that the termites got in through the bathroom. Then there was a, a sort of small hole here and they burrowed their way underneath the parquet flooring and then went to every room upstairs, just eating away. And previously, this stair rail was wood. They ate that as well. And all, all the stairs they, they ate. So there were just termites everywhere. We had to get everything ripped out and then relayed with tiles. It was very, very inconvenient doing it. The house was in uproar for a long time and it was also very expensive. So having a termite problem is absolutely no fun at all. If you watched the video about the house my friend is having built, you would have seen the black pipes underneath the house. The purpose of these pipes is purely for termite protection. The termite people connect their equipment to the pipes and then inject a chemical solution into the ground under pressure to kill termites. I have three of these pipes in my house and they inject 100 litres of chemical solution into each one. Here they're mixing the chemical solution and they told us that this latest version doesn't have a smell. I've seen some organic non-chemical solutions advertised and although they might be friendly for the environment, I don't think they're as effective at killing termites. When the solution's mixed, they inject it using a pump that's driven by a small petrol engine. Outside the house are some hollow pillars with water pipes inside and termites can get into the house this way, so they drill some holes into the pillars and spray inside. They spray all around the house, including my desperately overgrown garden, the cutting down of which is yet another job on my never-ending list of jobs to do. Painting this external wall is yet another job, it just never stops. Here they are, spraying around the rest of the house, and I gave them special instructions to stay well away from the fish pond. As I mentioned before, plasterboard ceilings are another target for termites. So upstairs there are service hatches in the bathrooms. So the guy gets up there and sprays inside the attic to stop the termites eating the plasterboard ceilings. Downstairs there are no service hatches. So in some places he was able to remove the down lighters and spray through those holes. And in other places he had to make very small holes in the plasterboard and spray through those. Once they've done all this, he went back inside the house to do some more spraying in places where there might be termites, uh, concentrating on door frames, skirting boards and cupboards.
As is always the case in Thailand, there are good and bad tradesmen. When I had the big termite problem four years ago, I'd actually paid out for a three-year termite protection contract. However, despite giving them a contract to protect my house from termites, I still had a major termite infestation. This company is really professional. The owner who came along to do the original inspection is very professional. And today there was one senior guy and two junior guys. And the senior guy was very, very good, very professional, and made sure that his uh, young helpers were doing the good job. The good news today is that no termites were found, which was a, a big relief. So today's job was purely preventative to make sure that we don't get any problems in the future. It's not that cheap, but the chemicals are quite expensive. They need special equipment and the people doing it need the right experience to know what to look for and where to look for termites. The first contract I got was 14,000 baht for a three year contract, but it turned out to be a complete waste of money because after supposedly protecting my house against termites, I was then hit by a huge termite infestation. This company charged me 14,000 baht about three and a half years ago for a one off treatment. And this time, because I was a repeat customer, they gave me a discount. So today it was only 12,000 baht. It's expensive, but termite problems are horrendous. So by doing this treatment, it does give you a lot of peace of mind. And there's also a one year guarantee. So if we have any termite problems within a year from now, they will be treated free of charge. Apologies to my regular viewers for the lack of content recently. There are reasons, but I don't want to bore you with the details. The world is in a very strange place at the moment and life isn't normal for anyone right now. But anyway, I hope to be making some more videos in the near future. And thank you for watching this one. See you soon.